Hello, I'm Ron Clark, bringing you the seven paths of Malkuth. That's four hidden paths, a planetary path, and two zodiacal paths. These paths, for me, are all about what binds me into incarnation in this physical body, in this physical present moment. So, it'll be sort of with that perspective that I pursue these paths. So, our first path is from a hidden path from Chokmah to Malkuth. Okay. Central meaning. The world is a central meaning made manifest. And I look down to Malkuth, so far away, Malkuth, and I descend in a rain of a central meaning down to Malkuth and pass down way down to Malkuth and I enter Malkuth and it is a realm of essential meaning all these forms in Malkuth express their essential meaning they shout their essential meaning to me Ooh. and from Chokmah I know all the things I need to know to be alive here, now, in Malkuth, in this present moment. Everything speaks its meaning to me, and I am filled with the knowledge that I need, that I need everything I need to know spoken to me through the forms that surround me. Ooh, and I climb back up to Hokma. And I shed all these forms. Oh, and I am streaming upward within essential meaning, pure essential meaning in Hokma. Pure essential meaning. It is all so beautiful, it is all so right, so clear, and Through that path comes the gift of being able to directly perceive essential meaning. This is a gift of Chokmah and Malkus. Our next path is Bina to Malkuth. Bina. Oh, a sense of form that speaks its meaning to me so clearly. Here in Bina, all these forms, these beautiful forms, oh, so many forms. I look down Malkuth, way down to Malkuth, and it's as my greater self that I look, my greater self that descends into Malkuth, into form, into solid, solid form. I descend to the thickness of form with all its choices, all its opportunities. And it is as my greater self that I speak to my Malkuth self. Here in Malkuth, the wisdom of my greater self always telling me, always telling me what is right and what is wrong, 
what is true, what is false, what is important, what is unimportant. Oh, I'm always guided by my greater self from Bina, this blessing from Bina fills my days here in Malkuth, fills this present moment with knowing what is right and what is wrong. Ah, the certainty in Malkuth. Oh, and I climb back up to my greater self in all its purity. from all the circumstances of daily life to the blissful state of being, simple being in Bina as my greater self. This is indeed my connection with my greater self, my direct connection with my greater self, always telling me what is right and what is wrong. So, the next hidden path comes from Gajula to Malkus. It all fits together and get you connections, connectedness of all things, perfect, perfect pattern of all things fitting together. And I look down to Malkuth, oh, down to Malkuth, the descend, oh, and here in Malkuth, Oh, the commonality. Oh, I feel connected to everybody, to everything. Oh, every moment I am connected here in Malkuth. Oh, the beauty of camaraderie, of collectivity, of working together with everything else in existence, moving together here in the present moment of Malkuth, I am connected. I am a part of this whole. I am at one with everything. Connected. Oh, and I rise back up to the Jew. perfectly right here in Gajula. It all fits. Oh. This path lays bare how I am connected with everything, physically connected to everything. There is no space between me and other, we are really one thing. Okay, the next hidden path is from Gebura to Malkuth. what makes me run, makes me run. Ah, yes, my power. And I look down to Malkuth, and I descend powerfully. I am a flame that descends into Malkuth, lighting everything ablaze. My power here in Malkuth, where I get to exercise my power from moment to moment 
being Ron, being myself, myself. And it is in service of the collective that I exercise my power. My power is only good power in the context of the whole. Oh, my power. I am so strong, so firm in myself here. flame of my power, and I rise, I rise into my own power, oh, and get pure, oh, get pure, I am so strong, oh. and I see here the power of being myself, freely, unabashedly me, that is how I have to walk in Malkuth at all times, being myself. Okay, the next path is a planetary path of the moon, the letter Tav which means a cross, okay, uh, like an X, not a Christian cross, but a cross, a simple cross, marking the spot. So, in yes, beauty of yes. Astral realm that is so beautiful, so charming, so entrancing. Oh, I smell it, I see it, I touch it, I hear it, I feel it. Oh, oh. yes, sir. And I look down to Malkuth, and I am pulled into Malkuth. Oh, instantly in Malkuth. Great magnetic pull from Yesod to Malkuth. Oh, I flow with the moonlight into Malkuth. Oh, I must be in Malkuth. I'm drawn into it. These bindings, these magnetic bindings. I have to feel things. I have to experience them. I have to see, I have to smell, I have to touch. I have no choice. I am bound by these sensations, these beautiful, lovely sensations. They take all of my attention, all of my focus, right here in this finite, infinitely finite present moment. I am bound by these bonds of sensation. Oh. And I look up to Yesod, and I have to struggle free of the bindings of Malkuth to reach back up to Yesod, to the beauty of the astral. I am so free, I float, oh, I swim in the air, oh, yes, Lord. Oh, the magnetic pull of Malkuth on the yes side is, oh, so strong and so immediate. It's a bit of a struggle to free myself of Malkuth, to return to Yesod. Hmm. Next path comes from Netzach into Malkuth. This is the path of Aquarius, ruled by Saturn. Hmm. 
everything. We vibrate. We resonate together. We make a beautiful sound. And I see here all the archetypes, all the things that speak to me in Yesa, that say, hey, come this way, be this way, think this way. And I think that way. I feel that way. I act that way. I resonate with everything. I am connected to everything through resonation. And I look down to Malkuth. Ooh, ooh, so enchanting in Malkuth. Oh, and I must respond. I must respond to everything here in Malkuth. It is enchanting. Oh, I must resonate. In Malkuth, I have no choice. I must resonate. I vibrate with everything else. Oh, and it's a great vibration. It's a great resonation. Oh, in Malkuth, always movement, always dancing, always celebrating with everything. This thing called life, vitality. Oh, yes, from Netzach. And I look back to Netzach, and I travel up to Netzach along these tendrils of connection, of vibration, of resonation, and I am in Netzach again. Beautiful emerald green Netzach. And it all feels so natural, this flow from one into another. I see and I feel how we all vibrate together. One big vibration here in Malkuth. Everything touching everything else and resonating with everything else constantly. There is no pause. Oh, so vital. So vital. And now our final path. The path from Chod to Malkuth. And the letter Kuf, which means back of the head. The subconscious part of human awareness. It is ruled by the sign of Jupiter. Kuf. Pisces. for myself where I judge everything yes Lord. where I see everything so clearly so clearly in the orange light of Lord. I see the splendor of it all the splendor in Lord. and I look down to Malkuth and I am sucked down in sucked down into this realm where everything presents itself to me and I have, I have to judge, I have to decide, I have to determine what everything is, how big it is, how small it is, how significant it is, I have to decide, I have to judge, oh it's just all so alluring. It all demands of me that I judge, that I decide. 
oh, I am always constantly thinking, constantly judging everything I see and touch and feel. Oh, it is the world around me. I determine what it is, how it is, here and now, Kruth. Oh, and I rise back up to all, all to the splendor, to the infinite splendor oh, of everything that I judge, that I decide, that I wrong decide for myself. judging mind plays a role in binding us to incarnation here in Hod, this need of the intellect to partake in reality in that way of determining, judging, deciding. So, that finishes our exploration of the 46 components of the Gra Tree of Life. I hope this has helped you in some way, introduced you to these uh, parts of existence, and uh, excited you enough to explore them on your own. I really do help. hope you engage in this exploration. It's very enriching, very fulfilling, and every time you uh, explore a path, you learn something new, you see it from a slightly different perspective. Like these four, these seven paths, they're not just personal, you know, they're universal as well. They apply to everything that exists, um, and not just in a human way. Um, so, explore further, explore, always explore. Um, yeah, a hermeticist is an explorer, really, um, of the universe. Okay, in my next set of videos, I will be exploring the different kinds of gates in the Gra Tree. So, till then, bye-bye.